Hey, what's up, guys? Dr. Gus Greenfield here, and we are at the Bio Bin. We got some helpers with me out here today Aramis and Belinda. These things. You guys see my little tiny watermelons on other vlogs? These things are great. Cut them in half, eat them just like a bowl. They were wonderful. I think they're from Mexico. Biodegradable. That's just orange peels and apple cores. And there's a paper plate in here. I want to see what it does. Oh, white paper plate. I just want to, I'm going to throw it over in the corner just to see how it breaks down. An experiment. And that could make good. Uh, got, a, uh, got a couple peanut butter things I'm going to put up too for the. Oh, you know what the hell? I'll do it right now. I'll put it right over there on that tree. Uh, get a knife here. I don't know what kind of deers you guys got out there. We got white tail out here. They're pretty big. Um, I got to find a knife. I, I, got a knife. I thought I brought one with me. Come on now. This man has no knife. There we go. <clears throat> All I do is, uh, you got your empty peanut butter jar thing? Don't scrape it all out of there with a spoon like how you usually do when you're out. Just sort of leaves. This gets them started. Just leave that much in there, you know. Then you just, just get this cut. I'll cut my finger off. Here with me, folks. You ever notice everybody says folks on YouTube? Almost. I like cutting myself, so I got to be careful. I mean, I don't like cutting myself like I got some kind of mental issue. I got, I, I actually accidentally cut myself all the time. I'm a cutter. And hey, if anybody out there does cut themselves for mental issues, there's phone numbers you can call. I got peanut butter all over my knife. Hey, look at that cat. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so what I do is I cut the bottom of it out and then I put the, I screw the lid onto the tree and then it's like, sits on there like that. And then they, they, uh, Aramis, will you get out of there? And then they, the deers actually lick this out of there. They love it. So let's put it on, let's put it on this tree right back here. That you can see which one was it? What do we got here? This, right? Oh, that's like a... Uh, Alright, we'll put it right on the side of this one. Hell, let's try it. Let's see what happens. We got a couple screws taped on here. That was crazy with that cat, wasn't it? <laughs> let's stick this right here. You want to be careful on the initial, uh, you know, if you break them, just save a lid for... Something else that fits her. Let's eat more peanut butter. I think these trees are frozen. Boy, I know my fingertips are. This seems kind of high, but don't get up to it. Some, uh, a raccoon or something probably hang on there and eat it too though. Nah, I can't get the screw in. My fingers ain't working out here, it's pretty cold. There you go. Stick her on there like that. And then I got another one, but I didn't bring any peanut butter with me. But we'll set it up on the, the death tree back there, I guess. That tree's pretty hardy. Got one more screw at least. Come here, Aramis. Come here. Beep, beep, beep. Come here, kick, kick, kick. come here, buddy. Okay, there you go. All right. <clears throat> I'm trying to see like a one that was like, hey, we can put the. You know, oh, yeah, I'm rambling. Let's put it on the deck. Oh, that's a
That one's kind of cracked. It's cold out here, but I was thinking we could put some bird seed in that. I got a bag of bird seed up there, and the cats were killing all my birds from the bird feeder. They're ambushing it, so we could um literally maybe put some bird seed in these ones. Like that one over there is kind of cracked. Man, I got peanut butter all over this knife. Wait a little bit. It's gonna smell like peanut butter. All right. Okay, let's take a look at the bio bin. And everything's still the same, so we're just keep adding to it. All right. Let me see. Uh, we're at six minutes here. Let's go. Let's take a walk over here and see Mr. Coyote. See what's going on. We'll go quick. Some of you guys like these, some of you don't. So, like the same little area. We call these the trek about. For those of you who don't know, we're watching the deterioration of a, a coyote that we think a Bigfoot killed. Broke his neck. It's sort of gross, but some weirdos are into it like me. Just keep checking on them. I said in another vlog, I shot one open season for coyotes out here. And they kill cats and baby deer and all the nice little fuzzy animals. Cute and fuzzy bunnies. There he is. It's like, damn, man. Damn, frozen meals to go. All right, that's enough of that. Sometimes I got the camera because I can't see what I'm doing here. All right. Dude, come on, you guys, get away from there. Get away from there. Come on. Sorry about that, but you don't want to be by that. Come on, Aramis. Come on. That's Belinda. Named after my friend Belinda. Her husband stepped on her. And she shits everywhere. So she's a wild. She's not wild, but she's a barn cat now. She's learning how to shit in the litter box now. Her husband only weighs like 285 pounds. Stepped on the damn thing. <laughs> I got a funny story to tell you guys too coming up. One of these little... Walk over to the lane. I got the lane, and that'll be the end of this vlog. I stuck some. Here's the lane. We'll clear that out when we get the four wheeler going and stuff and make a little road down there. I used to fly down through there. I got a, um, I got these little solar powered owls. I think one's an owl and one's a bear. They got little lights on them. That come on, I put, put them out here to freak little Debbie out so it looks like little little eyes looking at you at night. They're like solar powered ones. I stuck them randomly all around. Okay, there's a Grand Central Station right through here. Check this out. This is where everybody comes. Right? Everybody comes and comes again. This is where we've seen that blood. God, I'm trying to put my glove on. I'm trying to catch a freezing. Man, you guys should see the shitload of... Sorry about this view. Shitload of lumber I got. Just for random working on stuff. It was like a uh, second. Some of it's twisted. Some of it's bent. Some of it's really good. Put 16 foot long planks of wood in the back of my 4 foot long bed on my black Silverado. It's like... I'll add a picture or something on it. Let's, yeah, let's walk out here real quick. This is, um, some tracks for sure. I want to see, we need a little bit of a thaw. I'm thinking like a one, one more week of this stuff. Deers, other animals, all right here. This is where we've seen that blood, it's been covered up. All right. Well, this is Gus. Oh, my God, we're in 10 minutes. I hope you guys like these. I mean, some people do, some people don't. So don't watch it if you don't like the trek about. If you do, 
I'm waiting someday to see we'll see like a Bigfoot or something out here. So I can get send it to my friends at uh anything cryptozoology and whatever. Instead of like blurry leaf pictures, you know. Hey, we're on the eleven minute mark. I'm Gus Greenfield. I looked it up so you don't have to.